This video is not intended for anyone under the age of 13. Hey everyone, it's Matt here, and welcome to another episode of Commander Adventures. Devin and I tried something a bit new with the footage for this recording, and it didn't quite work. We'll be going back to normal recording for future sessions, but let's go ahead and jump in to player introductions. First off, we have Eric, playing Eureka the Tiger's Shadow. He kept a hand with three islands, River of Tears, Polluted Delta, Baleful Strix, and Thada Adele Acquisitor. Next up is Juan, playing Gave Guru of Spores. His hand has a temple garden, an overgrown tomb, a swamp, a woodland cemetery, driven to despair, sprout swarm, and authority of the consuls. Then we have Caitlin, playing Kalia of the Vast. She kept Rakdos Carnarium, Evolving Wilds, a Plains, Rhea Dawnbringer, Colgon Monument, Varix Bladewing, and Bassandra Battle Seraph. Finally, we have Jeff, playing Thrasios and Timna. He kept a pair of Forests, Soul Ring, Dark Ritual, Rapid Hybridization, Spell Pierce, and a Felwar Stone. Eric starts us off. He drops an island and passes his turn. Juan shocks in a Temple Garden and uses it to cast an Authority of the Consuls before passing turn. Caitlin drops an Evolving Wilds and cracks it to bring in a tapped Swamp before passing as well. Jeff drops a Forest and uses it to cast a Soul Ring. He then closes out round one with a Felwar Stone. Eric draws for turn. He drops a River of Tears and then casts a Baleful Strix. He draws as it enters and then remembers it enters tapped to Authority and Juan gains a life. Eric then passes turn. Juan untaps. He plays an overgrown tomb tapped and passes off. Caitlin untaps. She drops a Rakdos Carnarium, bounces her swamp back to hand, and discards down before passing. Jeff untaps. He drops another forest and casts a Factor Fiction. He chooses Caitlin and gets what may be the worst pulls I've ever seen from a Factor Fiction. He takes a pile with Watery Grave and two islands, and bends a pile with Woodland Cemetery and an island. Before passing turn, Eric untaps. He drops another island, and casts a Thada Adele Acquisitor, which enters tapped as Juan gains a life, which he immediately loses in combat to Baleful Strix. Eric then passes turn. Juan untaps. He drops his own Woodland Cemetery and casts a Cultivate. He brings in a Plains Tapped and takes a Swamp to hand before passing turn. Caitlin untaps. She drops her Swamp and passes off again. Jeff untaps. He shocks in a Watery Grave and casts a Brainstorm. He draws three and puts two cards from his hand back. He follows up with a Dark Ritual and funnels two of his mana into a Talisman of Progress. He then misses the damage from Talisman to cast a Fabricate. He grabs an Isochron Scepter to hand to make sure it's safe from Thada and then passes turn. Eric untaps. He drops an Island and moves to combat. He swings out at Jeff and in response to Declaration of Blockers, activates Yuriko's Commander Ninjutsu ability, swapping out Baleful Strix. And Juan misses his life gain trigger from Authority of the Consuls. Jeff then takes three, and both Yuriko and Thada trigger on that damage. Eric reveals Triton Shorestalker to Yuriko's trigger, and each of his opponents loses one life before he puts it to hand. He then goes through Jeff's deck to find an artifact card. He grabs a Talisman of Dominance, and casts it. He then pings himself to cast Triton Shorestalker before passing turn. Juan untaps, and Eric gives him his life gain from Authority, and they remember the life gain from Yuriko entering. 
One then drops a swarm and casts a Corpse Jack Menace before passing turn. Caitlin draws for turn. She drops the planes and casts her commander, Kali of the Vast, which enters tapped as Juan gains a life. Caitlin then passes turn. Jeff untaps. He drops an island and casts Thrasios tapped, and Juan gains a life. Jeff activates Thrasios once and scries a card away before bringing in a forest tapped and passing turn. Eric untaps. He drops an island and moves to combat, swinging out at Jeff. Jeff doesn't block, and Eric ninjutsu's in a Silent Blade Oni, as Juan gains a life from authority. Jeff takes a total of 9 damage, and 4 damage triggers happen again. He reveals a commit to memory to Yuriko's first trigger, and each of his opponents takes 10 damage. The second trigger reveals an ingenious infiltrator for 4 more life loss. Eric then adds insult to injury with Oni's trigger, going through Jeff's hand and casting his Isochron Scepter without paying its mana cost, and choosing not to imprint anything. He then pours some salt in the wound by going through Jeff's library for an artifact with Thada. He exiles his Mana Vault, and it stays in exile as Eric passes turn. Juan untaps. He drops the Swamp, and casts his commander Gave, who enters with 10 counters thanks to Corpse Jack. He then passes turn. Caitlyn untaps. She drops a Canyon Slough, and moves to combat. She swings Kali at Reyes, and cheats in a Rune Scar Demon on attack. She goes to tutor up a card on ETB, as Juan misses his life gain trigger. After she finds a card, Eric takes a total of 8 damage, before Caitlyn passes turn. Jeff untaps. He drops a Swamp, and activates Thrasios, bottoming the card he scried, and putting a Sunken Hollow in tapped. He does it again, and reveals a Demonic Tutor this time, before passing turn. Eric untaps. He drops a Rogue's Passage, and casts the Treasure Map. He moves to combat, and swings Silent Blade Oni and Yuriko at Caitlyn, and Thada at Jeff. In response to Declaration of Attackers, Caitlyn casts a Terminate to destroy Silent Blade Oni. Priority then passes again on Declaration of Attackers, and Jeff casts a Rapid Hybridization targeting Thada. In response to that, Eric activates Treasure Map, scrying a card to the bottom of his library, as Juan puts a landmark counter onto it. Thada then dies to Rapid Hybridization, and Eric gets a tapped 3-3 Green Frog Lizard, and Juan gains a life. Caitlyn then doesn't have a blocker, so she takes the damage from Yuriko. Eric reveals a Veil of the Night Glide to her trigger, and each of his opponents loses 6 life. In main 2, he casts Morong River Prowler from his graveyard, which enters tapped, and Juan gains a life. Triton Shore Stalker follows up, and Juan gains another life. At his end step, Juan activates Gave, removing a plus one plus one counter, and creating a Saprling. Juan untaps. He drops a forest, and casts a Slimefoot the Stowaway. He casts Driven, and his creatures gain Trample, and until end of turn when this creature deals damage, draw a card. It resolves to the graveyard, and he uses its Aftermath ability to cast Despair. And all of his creatures then gain, whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, that player discards a card. He moves to combat, and hits Eric for 14. Juan draws 3, as Eric discards 3, and then Juan passes turn. Caitlyn untaps. She moves to combat, and swings Kalia at Jeff. She cheats in an Utvara Hellkite on attack, and then Juan gains a life. Utvara Hellkite is an attack trigger, so she doesn't get to create a dragon token, but she does get to eliminate Jeff before passing turn. Eric untaps. 
He moves to combat and swings out at Wong. After declaration of attackers, he casts Commit on Slimefoot. In response to Commit, Caitlyn casts a Mortify to destroy Yuriko. Commit then resolves and tucks Slimefoot into Wan's library. Wan doesn't block, and in response to declaration of blockers, Eric ninjutsus in a Sakashima student in place of his frog lizard. He has it enter as a copy of Runescar Demon and goes to tutor up a card, while Wan gains a life. Damage then resolves through, and Wan takes a total of 9 before Eric passes turn. Wan untaps. He drops a Twilight Mire and casts a Protean Hulk. He then uses his last remaining mana to activate Gave, sacrificing Protean Hulk and targeting Gave with his own ability. He resolves Protean Hulk's death trigger and goes to grab Slimefoot, Utopia Mycon, and Blood Artist. In the interim, he also puts his two counters onto Gave from his activated ability. Wan then moves to combat and swings everything he can at Eric for a total of 16 damage. In main 2, he uses Utopia Mycon to sacrifice a Sapperling and add a mana. As he does, he drains each of his opponents from Slimefoot and targets Caitlyn with Blood Artist to drain her for an additional point of damage. He then uses that one floating mana to activate Gave, removing a plus one plus one counter and creating a Sapperling. This can only be repeated as many times as Gave has counters. However, it's able to generate more than enough damage to eliminate Eric first and then Caitlyn letting Juan walk away with a win. I want to thank all the players for being a part of this game, and to give a shout out to Dungeon Games for allowing us to film. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and a comment, and make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to see more of our Commander content. I'll see you all next week for a game featuring Devon's favorite legend of 2019. And as always, thank you for watching.